Hey guys, Mangu here from Hansen Pro Systems doing instructional video on the Hansen Pro Systems CO2 gun. Couple key components here, of course the CO2 gun, your backpack, the CO2 hose, your CO2 tank, and an adjustable wrench. Very important, you always need to have one of these in your inventory if you're going to be dealing with CO2 products. Next step will be the proper installation of your backpack onto a CO2 tank. This tank right here, it's actually a 20 pound tank with regular CO2. When using the CO2 gun and the backpack, you're gonna be using a standard CO2 tank with no siphon. If you decide that you do not wanna use the backpack and you just wanna attach a regular hose, CO2 hose to a CO2 jet or gun, you could use a regular CO2 siphon. On this one, we're gonna just use a regular 20 pound tank. There's also 15 pounds and 10 pounds. Do not put anything bigger than 20 pounds on this backpack. I normally recommend going with a 15, it's just lighter, easier to walk around with. All right, so the first step is, you wanna make sure that the nozzle um, is away from you. Um, you wanna flip the backpack upside down. Right here, you actually have the strap. You're gonna open the strap up enough that it will fit onto the tank. So basically, you're gonna come here, you're gonna just slide it down. Once you slide it down, you're gonna get to the second clamp that's here. You're gonna loosen it up by taking off the butterfly that's on it. Once you do that, just open it. Come on the top part of the nozzle and just attach this and with the butterfly that has comes with it you're gonna basically screw it back on to securely hold the tank this is going to prevent the tank from jumping up and down on you when you're walking um, and just moving around once this is secure you're gonna come down you're gonna come to this strap you got to make sure that this strap is aligned straight you're gonna pull, make sure you hold the tank down. You're gonna pull the strap as much as you can, as tight as you can. Once you do this, you're gonna hold it. You're gonna use your other hand and just pull and push down the, the strap to secure it. Once you hear that sound, you're safely secured and the tank is not gonna go anywhere. So now you have attached up here, you have attached down here. The next step is you're gonna take your CO2 hose and you're going to attach it to the tank. There's two sides to this. There's a quick connect which connects to the actual gun. There's a nut and a nipple. Depending where you live, if it's the United States or another country, this may vary. You have to make sure that you let um, your salesperson know where this product is going. You also have inside a washer. This washer prevents any leakage once you attach it to the tank. So basically grab the hose with one hand and then grab the nut with the other. Um, screw it in slowly um, by hand until you can't no more. Once you get to the end, you wanna grab your adjustable wrench. Make sure when using an adjustable wrench, it's it's flat, do not use a monkey wrench, pliers. You will damage the brass here. So use an adjustable wrench that's flat. Basically put it in here, tie it down until you feel comfortable. Um, you don't have to go crazy because you have a seal. Once you do that, you're gonna place your, your, your adjustable wrench down. Now you're pretty much ready to go. Very important, the next step has to be done with two people. Remember guys, this is not a toy. This is a special effects product, but at the same time, it can be dangerous if you do not follow these steps the way I just explained to you. Um, I'm gonna have Jason come in and basically help us out. Um, you're gonna come here pretty much, open up, the strap 
you're gonna grab from the top the nozzle and the other hand is gonna grab the tank towards the bottom. Keep in mind, this might jump on you a little bit, so if you want, you know, place it in front of you, that way it doesn't hit you. Grab the tank, flip it upside down, okay? Make sure you support it the whole time until Jason physically has it um, on him. Very important, once you're putting the tank up, there's two straps in the front. These two straps, you need to put them. That way, you bring the tank up as high as possible. You do not want to put any, any a lot of pressure on your back. So the higher you go, the less tension your back will have. Once you do that, you, um, you take the next two straps and you strap them around your waist. This is gonna keep the tank from jumping up and down on you. Once you do this, now you're pretty much ready to go and you can release the tank. It's not gonna go anywhere. Very important, never open the valve until you have the actual CO2 gun on the hose. The hose has a quick connect on this side. You grab your CO2 gun and basically just pull back on the, the quick connect, push in, and now it's secured, secured. Sometimes if you have air inside the hose, you might not be able to attach it to the gun. Real simple, if this happens and you're trying to push it in, it just won't go in, put the gun down, grab your adjustable wrench, and just loosen up a little bit right here. And whatever pressure of air that is in here, you wanna release it. Once you do that, tie it back up, and now the quick connect should have no pressure in the hose. You're gonna come here, once again pull it, attach it, now it's secured. Now you pass this on to whoever's helping you or whoever's gonna be doing the actual effect. Now you have your gun ready to go, the hose, the backpack, and the tank. Next step is gonna be, you're gonna actually open the valve. You're gonna turn it all the way until you get to the end. Once you do this process, your actual CO2 hose is gonna have liquid air or CO2 in the hose. Your next step to get this going will be to basically, you're gonna pull down on the trigger. When you pull down on the trigger, it's also gonna activate the LED that's on top. So it enhances the, the effect of, of the CO2. Jason now is gonna pull it and he's gonna prime it a little bit. If you notice, once he pulls it twice, now the hose is primed and now you're ready to go. Show him the effect. So now you're ready to go. It's that simple. Make sure that you follow these rules. This is not a toy. So you gotta make sure that you follow all these rules, that way you don't have any issues or any problems. Make sure that you also never point this to any electronic equipment. It has liquid in it, so you will damage anything that is electronic. And once again, always keep it away from people's faces or bodies. Always point above the crowd. Next, I'm gonna show you how to properly close the system and basically put it away. The next step is to properly show you how to drain the CO2 gun and the actual CO2 hose to be able to remove it from the person that's helping you out. Um, right now, we're gonna come back here. We're gonna physically close the valve all the way. Once you close it, then you're gonna make sure you drain it. Once you hear no more air coming out of the gun, that means that the actual hose is completely drained and the gun is drained as well. Your next step will be, you grab the gun, you're gonna come here with the quick connect, release it, and put the gun down. Um, try to put the hose facing down, that way it doesn't hit anybody. Then you're gonna come here and once again, you're gonna help the person with, that's with you to take it off. Take the strap from the bottom down, pick up the tank, and release. So now, you're gonna come, place it down, 
make sure the tank is securely in, in a surface that's flat it doesn't shake and that's pretty much it if you guys have any more questions or have any technical support on this call us um, or also reach us on our website www.hansenprosystems.com once again this is Bamboo from Hansen Pro Systems and Jason thank you for watching